Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. I am finally going to start working on the olive dial watch that I got from Goodwill. Uh, the reason I decided to start working on this watch is because another olive dial entered the market and before I decide whether to go for that watch or not I'm going to see how this dial actually is and how this dial compares to the other olive dials I have now the first challenge is always uh, removing the bracelet mm. I apply pressure from the front of the watch always when removing uh, pins uh, this way uh, when it scratches it scratches under the lock I personally don't care uh, whether uh, this part is scratched because uh, one way or another it gets scratched because end links also scratch it so I don't care whether uh, the underside of the case is scratched so basically by applying pressure here uh, I make sure that uh, pin only scratches the bottom side of the case if it scratches usually sometimes usually mm -hmm. uh, pins are locked I use a thin uh, Dremel engraving tip and just enter from here and just mm, drill it in between here the end link and try not to touch the end link and so basically when you have a watch like this very dirty and old mm, usually pins are stuck as well and you, you need to drill them out This is in it a bit stuck, but not fully stuck. Maybe it can release. Yeah, like I guessed, it, it seems stuck on that side. In, in this side, it released. I'm going to try from here, but. Um, more comfortable when I tie from the other side. It's stuck but not uh, fully stuck, so I have hope that it might mm, release. I use Dremel because uh, I don't use any chemicals, uh, because for example look at this crown, uh, it's definitely not waterproof, and this crystal is also not waterproof, so worst thing that can happen is maybe the handling gets a bit scratched and engraved from the underside it usually doesn't happen but uh, it's easy to touch the end link when you are engraving drilling into the pin I've seen a tool that uh, almost cuts uh, the spring wire with almost laser precision uh, some watches come like that uh, they cut it almost perfectly and include the pin with the watch as well I really wonder what kind of a tool can enter uh, such a um, narrow area and make a perfect cut like that but I've seen evidence that such a tool exists
I really hoped the, this would uh, release, but I'm probably going to give up soon and drill it. Moving the <clears throat> tick side uh, a bit is a good idea sometimes. Also, it's a good idea to check uh, whether it's actually um, those levered type of uh, spring bars, but this is not, this is definitely a regular spring bar. I'm going to try a screwdriver as well. Mm. These cheap screwdrivers and uh, get in there just slightly better. Mm. I actually broke my screwdriver, so I guess I must use the engraver. I really wanted to avoid it, but there's no way around it. I use the flex extensor for the drama and use the tiniest engraving tip I can find. Uh, I apply masking tape to the watch just in case. Uh, it's not needed, but uh, if in the case that uh, you run the engraver, let's say your hand slips. Uh, at least this masking tape can absorb that singular slip. So after almost 15 minutes, I finally managed to uh, cut the spring bar out. Uh, it was an extremely thick spring bar, so I switched to a thicker uh, engraving tip as well. And the problem with the thicker engraving uh, tip is that uh, it can touch the ending and you actually can see it but uh, it uh, touched the underside of this part just a little bit uh, you can see it in the glare but it's unimportant because it's not a um, visible issue and with pins like that I think it's an acceptable blemish Now let's switch to uh, opening the watch. This tool is a must if you want to open the screw case face. Uh, it's definitely a must purchase. Uh, I don't think there is any other way uh, to open a case pack. And before buying this tool, uh, just as uh, the spring bar was stuck, uh, I had some stuck case packs as well, likely this one is stuck too. Uh, I never opened those watches at all, I actually I haven't opened maybe 60% of the watches I have in my collection. I think this is in place. It's a good idea to loosen the fitment a bit so it can move and get this one in place, lock it, and then lock this part again. And do it slowly uh, even this tool can slip uh, if you don't engage it properly I shouldn't have done that lift as well but 
if they don't do any damage. Okay, so. Is back. Oh. So the moment is, I think, is in very good condition, and the case back has some um, residue, but parts itself the parts themselves are very very clean I don't know why the watch isn't working I think maybe the auto assembly no this part this watch definitely needs cleaning one sad thing is that the case back uh, clamp isn't engaged that is a problem so it's a problem because it might have and damaged the dial. Let me just bend this. I'm going to remove the crown now. Apply some pressure. Crown is definitely not original, and I'm still applying pressure because if I release pressure, and this clamp is going to push the dial upwards, and it's going to uh, potentially damage the dial. I use this screwdriver. As magnetized, slightly magnetized. I find it practical. Normally, um, I remove uh, the automatic assembly. It's step two. But I don't intend to service this watch right away. I'm just going to clean it and maybe blow it a bit mm. with this and clean the case clean uh, install a new crystal actually not a new crystal but a hand-me-down crystal and basically just i want to see at this point uh, what the dial status i use a uh, small pillow like this and release the dial onto it. The dial is flawless. It's perfect. Even the loom pips are all there. So I'm very really lucky on that regard. And the good wheel watches are usually in this condition. They are uh, in top condition, but they look very bad. And this is just a perfect spider dial, in my opinion. It's, it definitely needs cleaning, but I'm not going to clean it right now. I got this just to put movements in, but actually, as I said, I don't think it's a very good solution because mm -hmm. taking it back from this enclosure is going to be problematic. So I'm just going to use plastic 
boxes again. Problem with these plastic containers is that uh, they are a bit dangerous to carry around. Um, this glass, on the other hand, uh, is more easier to do. So I hoped it would be. Good container, but as I see, I need a larger one because my hand uh, can't enter it safely. The dial is safe. Now let's move on to crystal removal. I 3D printed this button mm, recipient. Mm, basically, it protects and it goes around the bezel and it creates a safe pressure system. Instead of pressing onto the bezel, it presses onto the case. Uh, that's the point of that part and to remove crystals I use a 28 millimeter dial it presses directly onto the armor ring and uh, pushes it out easily so basically the crystal is out now I'm curious about the crystal ring state, but they are usually very hard to remove uh, when they are out of the watch. But luckily this one isn't. So basically it's extremely oxidized, but it's very lucky that um, the dial didn't absorb any moisture, moisture and the crystal is cracked and it absorbed water from that spot it oxidized the armor ring it oxidized the hands and these spider dials um, endure uh, humidity quite well even in extreme amount of humidity they um, survive in a um, appealing sort of way i can show one blue dial watch that absorbed an extreme amount of humidity and it still looks very good one second Basically, this watch absorbed quite a bit, and you can see on the edges, but it still looks good. The nature of these tiles and the cracks and the imperfections, etc., I guess makes them compatible with disastrous situations. This is the worst. Uh, blue dye layer, but it still looks perfect and I think it's partly because of these dolphin hands the dolphin hands are correct uh, for sea cases but not correct uh, for these dials but I think it's a better option especially uh, for problematic dials like this and uh, let me show another watch Okay. 
Now this tile is in better condition. However, uh, it definitely looks worse than this watch. And that is, I believe, because uh, Dow Finance take most of the attention on this watch. They are just perfect. And these button ends are just passable. And when the dial is perfect, uh, it's unimportant. Uh, they don't get attention. But when the dial has issues like this, and uh, this one has stains, probably clinical, but I haven't tried it. I don't use aggressive cleaning methods, I only use uh, water very gently, extremely gently. And this one probably requires a more aggressive cleaning method. Just water gently and didn't do much for this. So correct hands looks bad. Wrong hands, correct to other C cases looks great my opinion is that um, when a dial is stained like this it's actually a better idea to go with incorrect hands and go for a better look so I'm thinking of uh, for dials like this just uh, using the finance luckily I found um, quite a bit of the finance I have I think six or seven extra pairs and I'm thinking of using it on this watch but the olive dial we just disassembled oh, I think it looks good it can definitely handle its own original hands and the next step is cleaning